Well, that was a bit of an intense flight there. I was uh, starting to shake in my hands a little bit. Getting a little worried getting right in close to the uh, ice cracks like that. You know, just bouncing off one of those ice walls would not end well, I don't think. But uh, I think it was some awesome footage, so it's uh, hopefully worth it. So I just did that flight with the uh, my Rad Lion 7-inch long range with uh, Success 2P18650 packs. And it's got the T-Motor F7 Pro, T-Motor F55 Pro 2, and uh, T-Motor F90 motors. I'm using uh, Gemfan 7037 props and uh, Rush Solo VTX, set to 800 milliwatts. My Crossfire is on the Nano TX, set to one watt.
Well, that was a bit of an intense flight there. I was uh, starting to shake in my hands a little bit. <sighs> getting a little worried, getting right in close to the uh, ice cracks like that. You know, just bouncing off one of those ice walls would not end well, I don't think. But uh, I think it was some awesome footage, so it's uh, hopefully worth it. So I just did that flight with the uh, my Rad Lion 7-inch long range with uh, 6S2P 18650 packs. I was here the week before and found this snow tunnel. I chickened out on flying through it, though. I didn't want to lose my long range drone. I lowered my rates and planned on flying through it when I came back this week, but it had crumbled. A few weeks later, I found another snow tunnel on a different mountain. I wasn't going to pass it up again. This time I went for it. I should have checked it out a little better first though. I was not ready for what happened next. But that's a whole other story that I'll have to save for another time. Thanks for watching.